shoot at a photographer and he's meeting his modeling agency. Yes. What a rush this afternoon has been. So Craig, Lyle and I are in three different parts of the city during the day and we needed to meet with the agency and the photographer in another part of the city at five o'clock and it's rush hour and my cab well my phone wasn't loading so that I could call the cab to get home on time to pick Laya up to get to the photographer on time but we made it we we're in the cab on our way yes, yes. Laya how do you feel I feel good you feel good? Look how he's looking. He's got a suit and boot, white shoes. He looks amazing. Are you going to have fun today? Yes? Yes. Okay, so everyone stay connected to check out how Lyle's photo shoot is going to go. Yes, please. Come sit here, baby. Oh. Okay, no problem. Okay, so we are at the studio. It's like a movie house in here. Eventually, we got here after mad traffic and taking the wrong lifts to the wrong building. Are you still okay? Okay? Okay. So, Laya has been asked to choose. Yes. Oh, his mother has been asked to choose two outfits because he is going to be using this outfit for one shoot and the second and the other two let's look for something cute so we chose this one and we chose the Pepsi one okay so here we have some changing rooms with a whole lot of costumes for adults and for kids a dinosaur? Oh yes, a dinosaur. Scary. And then we have a whole lot more here to choose from. Quite interesting actually. Okay, this would be Lyell's photo station. Wow. Mama's right here, okay? Don't worry, I'm right here. I won't leave you.
so now we are off to getting the third shoe done. Next it wow look at this it's so cool it's a whole bedroom set yes have some fun now okay what's that it's a deer not now It's candy for kids? No. How about lollipops for kids? No. No. This way, baby. Go, go, go. And that was Lyle's photo shoot, a professional photo shoot at the age of three. He's already on some Chinese sites and he hasn't even left the building. So let's just talk about our trip going back home. Craig is not with us because he's unavailable. I had to stay home and cook dinner. So after the shoot, this is what happened. I called the cab and the cab couldn't stop at the spot, at my pickup spot because it was rush hour traffic and it was a bus stop and I don't know this part of town. So I looked around and I can't speak to the driver because we are just not getting the message clear mm -hmm. so I found a pedestrian and I stopped her and good thing she speaks excellent English I asked her to mm -hmm. speak to the driver and she says he said he cannot stop wherever he is supposed to pick me up from because traffic and bus stop and it's not gonna work so she says okay it's um it's understandable but we need to move to a spot where the DDs can actually stop it's rush hour and the traffic is crazy so we call another cab and we after we get to the next point and then he cancels on us because he cannot find us so we walk further on to another complex and by this time it's like already what 40 minutes or so that we're trying to get a cab and we don't know which side of the roads to stop at so at the traffic light I see a cab and his lights are green and we get him to open his window and this girl speaks to him and he is laughing he says no problem where are you going and it's like I don't know where I'm going and I got this kid dressed in his suit in the middle of the road looking so snazzy but like I don't know where I'm going all I know is I live in this district and I don't know how I don't know what else to tell you so I sent her my address on WeChat and she got it and she I gave the driver the directions and he's like hysterical with laughter because this is like I don't know I think these are the only these are the first kind of passengers that he's ever picked up in his entire driving career but let me just say what an adventure having to run across the roads and it's <laughs> in a strange city not knowing the language not even knowing where we live but all's good